hello everyone uh, welcome to this jmeter tutorial in this tutorial we will learn about a new listener called response time graph so let's begin in our pv session we learn about a listener called aggregate graph in this particular session we would be learning another listener called response time graph for that i would be opening the same script which we created for aggregate graph click on file click on open and select this particular script okay i'm opening this one here right and before we actually proceed with the response time graph let's understand why this graph will help you okay for example if you want to run your script and during the execution let's suppose your test starts at maybe like 1 p.m and it ends at okay at maybe 1 30 pm okay so now what you need to do is that you need to see how your response time is progressing throughout this execution okay so you want to see the variation of the response time throughout the execution when you're putting the load this graph is basically populates a line line graph okay this is basically a line graph right and you know that aggregate graph was a bar graph right so now let's uh, go back to the g meter and go to the thread group right click on the thread group go to add go to listener and we have this response time graph here okay click on this one and we have different options here so this is a first look for you in terms of the response time graph and we have uh, multiple options and we have settings for the graph as well so on the top we have the name you can name this graph you can put the comments and furthermore if you want to write and read from the file you can do that from these configuration we already learned how we can do that then we have these graph settings here okay so now let's understand these settings so that we can populate our graph right before that what i will do is that i need to create a scenario so that we can have this graph okay for that uh, go to the thread group here and you need to run this with 50 users okay and the ramp up time should be like 60 seconds so we need to execute this script for some time so that we can have a graph okay so now let's run this and let's see how it works it will take a time to complete because we have mentioned our ramp up time as a 60 seconds here okay and if you go here and click on graph you can see that we are getting some response here right so we have to request one is home page and other is phone category right and this is how it's progressing right now okay so if i go back here click here you can see it continuously progressing so it is start from here and it continuously going on right so the blue line is basically indicating the home page okay and the red line is basically indicating the browse phone category request and on the x-axis we have these times because at this time we start receiving the response and the test is going on and it will end somewhere here okay so i am clicking on settings again so that we can have a updated graph here okay so this is the updated graph after completion for both the requests and on the y axis basically we have a time in the milliseconds okay so it starts from here and then there were a continuous progression which was pretty much very straight line okay this means that we have a very good response time which is continuous in terms of stability right so it shows that there is a stability in your application with this particular set of users and the load now we have a multiple settings here let's make this graph more appropriate to understand okay for that click on the settings here okay now we have this interval for example let me change this interval to 20,000 click on apply and now go back to the graph here okay now you can see the interval here we are showing between the two timings is basically 20,000 milliseconds okay and if I change it to 10,000 and click on apply and you can see now the interval between the timings is 
10,000 milliseconds. Similarly, if you want a lesser one, just change the timing as per your requirement. Click on apply interval and go back to the graph. And now you can see that we have a very different graph and it populates the timings between 1000 milliseconds. So that's the purpose of using that particular feature here. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, if we want to filter some record from here, we know that how we can do it. We just need to provide steric dot. Okay. Then we need to provide a transaction name. Okay. Whatever transaction we want to filter. Okay. Transaction name. And then again, steric and dot. That's how we can filter. Once we provide that, we need to click on apply filter and that would be filtered for us. Okay. Similarly, just like we did in the aggregate report. Okay. Now we have more options here. For example, the title, because we need to give a proper or meaningful name to the graph. Okay. So for that, let's suppose I'm giving the name as maybe response time graph for browse phone category i'm just giving a random name here again you can format okay then we have a line stroke or line settings here basically this stroke width is nothing it's, it's this one right and then this point how we want this in the graph so currently it's a circle and you can see that we have circles throughout the line right if i change it to diamond or square it would be changed here as well okay so this is the purpose of using these settings we will do these changes and run the script but before that understand the concept here okay then uh, i personally recommend to use the dynamic size but if you want to have a custom width and height you can use that then if you want to change the timing format you can do that okay and then we also know that what are the legends and how we can configure those for example i'm changing here to the left changing the sizes and fonts so that we can understand okay i'm also changing here as well okay and changing it to bold and from circle i'm changing it to diamond okay now we have the new settings for this graph let's clear the settings and run this again okay so before we run, now we have cleared our data. So if I click on this graph, it will say no values to the graph, right? Now let's run this again and see how these changes will reflect on the graph level. Okay. Now there would be a different font, different font size. Okay. We have now a graph title. We have changed the shape point to the diamond. It should be diamond. And then we have also changed the legend placement and the font type okay so once the execution will be completed all these settings will be populated in the graph okay so let's click on the aggregate graph so that we can see that either we are getting some responses or not yes we are getting some responses here and click on the response time graph here and click on graph so here you can see that we have these legends on the left side home page browse phone category and now you can see that instead of the circles now we have these diamonds here okay and furthermore we also define the name of the graph this is the new name which we provided in the settings and you are getting the time here as well okay so that's how these changes are being reflected into the graph okay furthermore similarly what we can do is that we can save this graph and we can share this graph with the management okay Thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content do subscribe our channel like share and comment and once again thank you so much and see you in the next lecture